At first glance, these two readings may leave you wondering what one has to do with the other. However, there's a deep and important connection when we are able to understand that everything in the universe is in communion with every other thing, including God. As human beings, with the capacity to know and experience the love that is evolving in all things, including us, we're now charged with choosing to imitate God. Our first reading from the letter to the church at Ephesus captures this love, this God presence in people intuitively, long before anyone knew that we lived in an evolutionary universe where everything is in relationship. Still, some people were aware that the Spirit of God dwelled within them. Our second reading from Thank God for Evolution by Michael Dowd confirms the new reality that we live within and is part of the God presence or ultimate reality. Knowing this, people of faith must seriously consider changing their understanding of and relationship with God. Reading from the New Testament Ephesians chapter 4 verses 25 to chapter 5 verse 1. So then, putting away our egos, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Don't let anger get the best of you. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and do not give in to your fears. Let no evil talk come out of your mouth, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that words may give grace to those who hear. And do not deny the Holy Spirit of God with which each of you has been marked. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children of God and live in love. And now, reading from Thank God for Evolution by Michael Dowd. Biblical people believe that God set everything up in the beginning once and for all. In contrast, the new cosmology understands that everything is evolving and that we are part of a vast time developmental universe. As time moves on, creation becomes more complex and more capable of reaching spiritual potential. God's nothing less than a holy name for ultimate wholeness, the one and only reality that transcends and includes everything else. Every earthly manifestation thus reveals a face of the divine, each part is a unique expression of the whole. In the words of Thomas Berry, the universe is a communion of subjects, not a collection of objects. We have no existence outside the ecological cycles of the earth, which in turn have no existence outside the solar system. The solar system has no existence outside the universe, and the universe has no existence outside ultimate reality or God. Everything is interrelated and interdependent. The entire process oozes divinity. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.